check this out test 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 one two three test 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 one two three ah there we are nice 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 hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream and today is november 4th the day that should have been the day after but it's not because it's going to be a long process uh regarding the election in the united states and uh we're not doing a live stream on the elections we're going to do a comic book high, comic book hall live stream and this is an unscheduled comic book hall okay and um it's uh comic book hall i mentioned i've been waiting for two two packages to come and one of them came uh yesterday and i was holding off on it so we could do the live stream right now on try today's how are you doing hey chicho hope you're having a fantastic i'm having a fantastic day really i what have i done uh, i did some work i did this and been looking forward to do this comic book a uh, live stream and uh it's it's a nice one it's cool it's, it's, it's some cool stuff in here and there's something that we're we've gotten that i've been tracking I've been tracking for a while and i'll mention it once people start coming in elder god second time lucky awesome elder god yeah second time lucky the first time the audio uh, just like five minutes ago i tried to go live and the audio was a little wacko so i unplugged but didn't work so i restarted the stream kebab so you're doing crack i see comic book i see all i click <laughs> crack you're gonna love this uh crack, crack is a comic book collector as well um this and the next one coming okay this isn't the one we talked about uh with dave stevens cover this is something else diet thug showing some skin chicho yeah <laughs> i'm taking it easy on my exercise routine gang as i mentioned when i did the video game uh, three streams that we did i moved a lot of boxes around i hurt my shoulder a little bit so once you injure yourself take it easy so i've injured myself and i'm working through the injury a little bit so that's what i'm up to right now uh ladies and gentlemen welcome to chichomania <laughs> cruel joke <laughs> awesome awesome lonely figure chicho what's up what's what's up do you have any snacks for the stream no snacks for comic book streams i i was i'm tempted because i am hungry uh but uh i want to do the comic book stream first food is life food is life i got water and my water is like really far away so i don't accidentally knock it over or anything but cheers gang to water these elections have been fun to watch kebab says even from the uk <laughs> circus you know circus was always a was always fun to go to when you were a kid was it not if you could go to one right discord was on crack today so fast was it ah sweetness sweetness gravity of the situation great name gravity of a situation hey chicho have you ever read any of the man from atlantis comics from the 70s it's really good a uh, dude uh for the uh i think we showed man from atlantis uh from uh i pulled some out actually for halloween readings but we didn't get to read them i don't know if i even showed them uh, but i pulled some out uh, i had two of them where uh, I think they're back to back, maybe. Where first of all, the guys in in uh, bondage, she's chained up against the wall, and then another one with the girls in bondage, chained up against the wall. I haven't read them, but I have a I have you know a handful of them. Good to know, Chicho. I can wait for the Dave Stevens issue. Okay, okay. Them uh, crack. It might be tomorrow. <laughs> I might do another comic book live stream tomorrow. No, Chicho attack the injured area. It will grow so much stronger. Um, it's different it's not uh it's it's the joint uh so i don't want to put any stress on the joint um it's not a muscle it's a it's, it's a joint and a, a ligament uh, issue so i've been ta taking it easy with it elder god uh cap off true chicho might be doing a <laughs> cooking stream in the future is, cruel joke is it you that posted it on the uh, Twitter that one is actually we have a version of that that we make but I've never made that one it's not a part of our families because we're from uh, we're from Armenian we're from Iran that what you posted is more of a Lebanese thing I believe more of a uh, Arab world uh, thing and I've eaten it before but I don't know if we have the recipe for it it should be fairly straightforward it should be the same filling that we use for some of the other pastries um, uh, that we make 
So I'm going to look into it, man. I'm going to look into it. Hey, Chicho, Starsky, how are you doing? Uh, what can I do for back of head headache? First of all, drink lots of water. A lot, one of the reasons a lot of people get headaches is because of water. They're, they're dehydrated. Okay. If you drink a couple of glasses of water, hit it up. Right. And then if the headache doesn't go away, one of the reasons people get headaches is because when they're watching on the computer, their necks, I can't turn like this, their necks are forward. Go into a good position, posture. Okay. I'm guilty of it as well, but I don't get the headaches. Hey, Chicho, hey, chat. How's everyone? Huckleberry, how are you doing? Sleepy waves, hey, Chicho. Need a political stream, not a comic point. <laughs> no, a comic book stream is exactly what we need, brother. Okay. Head hurts due to this massive uh, mess of a country. Comic book stream is exactly what we need, uh, Sleepy Waves. Crack. I'll be able to catch a bit. I've got a meeting right away. Okay, let me crack this open, gang. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, thanks for complimenting my name. And yes, those are the comics. Fantastic comics. Awesome, awesome. All the more reason for a comic call. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, gang, as far as my intro goes, uh, I'm gonna pop up. I'm on Patreon. You can follow the work on Patreon. Gang, for those of you who've been supporting this work through Patreon, thank you for the support. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E, if you want to participate in the chat. Twitch is where you want to be at. And, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. I do announce these live streams just before we go live for unscheduled live streams on LO Minds, VK Part of the Gap, and Twitter. For audios, for live streams where we don't have any visuals, uh, we do upload the audio to SoundCloud as podcasts, and they should be available on um, Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this video to BitChute and YouTube. Okay. And if you're on those platforms, you can share, you can like, you can subscribe. And uh, if you're on YouTube, you can join YouTube membership. And thank you very much for those of you who've joined YouTube membership. Let's get to the comics. Boing, 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 oh, boing, boing. Gang, let me show you what this is. I'm going to show you the box first. Sleepy boy. I'm not sleepy boy. Spider-Man, how you doing? Thanks for taking away the anxiety with some comics. I'm going insane today. Yeah, I bet. I, and man, the timing of this is fantastic. And by the way, we're going to do another one tomorrow okay we're gonna do another one tomorrow i'm just letting you know but we're gonna go through one big box right now okay so let me bring it up let me show you what it is first it's it's heavy <laughs> take a look and it's like bulging the guy packed it in there <laughs> right what is this frenius medical care okay okay so i'm gonna put this on the ground and crack it up on the ground Older. <laughs> okay now let me sh let me tell you what this cost and it cost a fair bit okay now the total amount for the, all the comics in this oh wait a second oh no hold on where is this oh yeah no 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 crack this has the dave uh, uh stevens cover okay the total cost of this box is 200 dollars us okay the guys from canada the guy ended up charging me 55 dollars us for shipping right and i was like dude that's a lot and the reason i ended up buying this many comic books off the guy is because he had something he was selling i'm going to show it to you that it ended up being 20 dollars. that was the starting bid on it right and i won it for 20 dollars, but the shipping was 30 dollars, right so I want a set of books here, and I'll show you what it is for twenty dollars. But the shipping was thirty dollars, and I was like, "Dude, that damn, that's a lot of shipping, right?" And he had other stuff on there that I was like, "Okay, I wouldn't mind getting these." One of them was the Dave Stevens cover, right? So I emailed the guy, I said, "Listen, will you combine shipping if I win more auctions?" And he goes, "For sure, I'll combine shipping." And then I won some of the other lots that he had. And then he sent me the shipping for $55. And then I emailed him. I said, dude, that's $55 in Canada, US. It's too much. I know it's not going to cost that much. And he goes, okay, listen, I'm going to ship it out tomorrow or next couple of days. And whatever, uh, if I charge you too much, I'll refund you. And he refunded me $15. Okay. So I got $15 back. Still cost less than that. To ship but i'm okay at least he did a little refund and he seemed like a really nice guy and stuff right 
So this whole thing, including shipping costs, $240 US. Let's look at the comics. He, he packed it in there. I just hope the Dave Stevens and the other comics uh, are well. The, the one I initially bought, I don't care about the condition of those ones, and I'll tell you why. job packaging them i thought maybe the books was popping out uh oh man. Also, yeah, so check this out okay i'm gonna show you oh sweet i want to show you the first things that i bought from this guy okay and then i'm gonna show you the other stuff that i bought from this guy right so let me put these guys over here So here's one thing we're going to look at. Okay, let me put this on the side. And any comic book collector out there, you're going to love those. Just letting you know. Actually, you're going to love you're going to love everything in this. Here is here's the Dave Stevens one. Nice packaging, nice packaging. Here is uh a set of in the indie comic books from the 1970s okay and the other one is from 1970s as well here is the initial thing that i bought from the guy here let me bring this up he put it in a separate box oh. he put like little foamy things in there which is good no sleeves today <laughs> I like I like these tank tops. I I really enjoy tank tops. It's it's your arms are free, you're like I don't know. Your skin can breathe. Okay. Check this out. This is the one that's heavy. Okay. And this I can cut up here. Let's bring out our bloodshot box cutter. Bloodshot box cutters back. And this one, I don't care what the condition is. In. And this is related to our math videos, ASMR math videos. This is stuff that I've been tracking for a while. I've been trying to get a good deal on these things, right? But the prices on these things keep on going up and they're expensive and the early issues are expensive. Okay. Because we've we've done comic books where we've looked at prices, right? I do think it's kind of fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what these are. We've we've done comic book hauls where we've looked at prices and stuff like this. And one of the things we need to do for looking taking all the data we've collected regarding comic book hauls what we've sold looked at prices looked at charts we're going to take all that information and link it up with asmr mathematics especially with personal finance because the whole plan when i started all these comic book videos five six years ago was to link up comic books with investing right personal finance look at rate of return growth and all that jazz right and one thing we need to do for that is look at price history of comic book prices over time and we looked at one of those things when we looked at action comics number one we looked at its growth rate and we calculated the rate of growth and your return on assets and stuff like this and it blew away the stock market like not even close right the only thing that came close was bitcoin and of a hedge fund that was uh it went private because there were there were three mathematicians or four mathematicians that came up with algorithms that were 
investing money automatically and the rate of return per year was 75 percent from 1994 to 2004 if you had invested a you know thousand dollars with them or ten thousand dollars you would have got like ten million dollars right comic books were on that level right the same curve and we're going to do this but we needed accurate info i bought Overstreet comic book price guide guides right and we bought them we bought let me show you what we bought we bought comic book price overstreet comic book price guide from number six to number 20 okay and uh let me open this up here too comic book price guide and uh these things uh the crazy thing is like the number one of this is going for insane amounts they just did a re reprinting of issue number one of comic book price guide uh comic book price guide oh it's not even here you know what let me do this over street oh over street i need over street over street so i'm just going to show you this i'm going to look at this uh we are going to look at this once we start linking it up with asmr mathematics right so we got number six all the way up to number 20 and we're missing number 17 okay i just want to let you let you let you know those old guys are fun yeah i have one of them here and i use this one a lot this is the issue number 23 right and I have a couple of other ones as well. So it's basically these ones. And there's a couple of hardcovers here as well. So this one I used a lot. I like I liked this. I looked it up. You read it. It's got like information there. It's got beautiful covers in it, right? Uh, some of the old school covers. And you can read some of the history. And there's like write-ups in it. They're good. They're fun. And the hardcovers go for, go for crazy, right? And check this out. Director of Comic Nostalgia. And check this out. Uh, if you know I did comic book publishing right and I what I ended up doing was because uh, Diamond Comics wouldn't carry Gogo -Go Boy comics and we sent them in uh, it was basically the first continuous LGBT comics book series ever right we were able to I was able to get out three issues but it was supposed to be a continuous series right and they wouldn't carry it so what I ended up doing is contacting sending uh, packages to all the comic book stores in Canada United States and some in the Europe and Australia directly mail outs right of the sample comics and here is some of the addresses that I was able to pick out of Overstreet price guide right so I sent packages to all of these comic book stores in the 1990s when the comic book distributor that basically had a monopoly was not did not accept my books right at the time the internet i had a presence online but it was mainly um what do you call it just bulletin boards right so let me show you the covers of this so this is number seven very cool very cool okay <laughs> nice oh look at this awesome very cool very cool look at the write-up they have right nice right. cool i've never looked at anything older than like mid 1980s so that's super cool so issue number seven let me put this here Here's issue number 13 and issue number seven. Let me tell you the year of this, right? Issue number seven is, issue number seven is 1977. Okay. And so we were basically going from 1976 all the way up to uh, 19, da, 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 1990. Okay. So that's the price guys that we got. Here's number uh 13. oh look at this he's got someone's got tabs here for old sticks comics ads in those 
a Winnipeg based comic distributor. Dude, the crack. Styx Comics, the distributor, carried LG, a, a Google Boy comic. They carried our comic books, right? So Styx Comics, the distributor, and Jeromada, Styx, and a lot of every other comic book distributor carried Google Boy. Our first uh, three titles we sent them, and I made a mistake. I sent Google Boy with the, the other ones, so they refused to carry those. All the other distributors carried them, but Diamond didn't. Check this out. Someone's got like tags here right cool so he was using whoever was selling this was using this well right so here's number 13 this one's a hardcover sweet the hardcovers go they're expensive this is number 18 Oh, look at this one EC uh, this is number nine that's got to be Wally Wood maybe issue number nine very nice he's still around here in Manitoba just under a different name comic world still has a huge online store oh I didn't know that dude fantastic tell him uh, Chicho <laughs> Chicho says salutations <laughs> mermaid publications and thank you for carrying my comics when the diamond comics wins this is number 19 haha <laughs> joker and it's got a, like a plastic cover on it I don't need the plastic cover on it I'm taking this guy off well next time i email him for an order awesome oh this has got tape on him pooper scooper okay so we'll keep the plastic on there i'll take it off later so take a look cool Here's number eight. Also, pretty good condition. Not bad, right? Look at that bondage cover. Cool. Oh, some loose pages. Look at these. Let me keep this open so we put it in the right place. So a lot of amazing covers and it's got lots of good info in here. And Overstreet's been around for a long time. And as far as price guys go, we did a, a reading. We looked through an old price guide from 1968, I believe. No, this one. This is number, what number is this? This is number 10. So $20 US, $30 for the shipping. So $50 US. And I ended up uh, adding some other books in there, right? To distribute the shipping costs. Danny, hey, yo, what up, how you doing? Here's number 20. This one's in really good shape, right? And this one, the hardcovers sell for, they were selling at the time for $20 each, right? let's see if it focuses they were selling for twenty dollars each so buying all of these from number six to number 20 for this price is pretty good price guide this is number 11 haha <laughs> nice look at this cover pretty cool nice if you want to know which issue here elder god i'm going to send you a link uh, 
here. This is from my comic shop. Check this out. You can find out which one it is. Boop. Okay. Number six in this is really beat up. Plastics are crazy. So we're going to be pulling out the data, uh, the data from this once we start the whole series, right? Here's number sixteen. Fantastic Four, happy anniversary. Cool. Here's number 18. Right. There's number 18. Cool. And this was a pretty good deal. It was really. This is number uh, six, and this is pretty beat up. This one's like crazy beat up. <laughs> Look at this one. Seriously beat up. Nice, good enough. Very cool, very cool. Very cool, very cool. Here's uh, number 12. Haha, <laughs> mad. And this is, uh, yeah, this is number 12. Nice. You got the 1980 edition. So it must be one of the ones I have. That I have in this 1980 would be uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, where are we 1980 would be whoop, whoop, whoop. what issue is it oh issue issue number 10 so it's issue number 10 the 1981 very cool here's number 14 <laughs> nice cover Serious old school. And by the way, this person that was selling these, he was a guy that bought a storage container and he told me all this information and he's loading up like different, it's not all comic books, it's other things. He bought a storage container and he wasn't a comic book collector so he wasn't grading anything. He just had pictures up and I bought the other books based on the pictures. So I, I'm hoping, I got my fingers crossed, they're really good condition. I don't know. Based on this, he was being pretty honest about what he wrote down. This is number 15. Ah, your dad bought that one for you, number 10. He got you into collecting, that's super cool, man. Right? So this is number 10. So that's great. We got ourselves some major data that uh, we can use for, a for the ASMR mathematics, right? We're one step closer to creating, continuing to um, uh, our discussion on personal finance and investing and economics. And we're one step closer to being able to get into the nitty gritty, the mathematics of it, right? We got the raw data, right? I, I'm gonna still try to get my hands on the earlier issues, right? And the issues, I'm tracking some other ones that are later issues in this from 1990 uh, up to, it's gonna be in chunks. So I'm gonna to try to get my hands on them. Okay, let me put these guys away in this box that they're in. I need to create more bookshelves. I'm running out of bookshelves. Right. So let me put these guys here, okay. Like this. Now, let me show you what else we got. I'm going to show you guys the Dave Stevens cover. Hopefully, Crack is still here uh, because I know he likes Dave Stevens. Check this out. Okay, I'm going to try to be careful with this. Now, on the pictures of this, it looked like it was really good condition, but hard to tell. All right. This guy packaged this stuff up pretty nicely. And it was, it did have a bag and board. Okay, 
Now we're gonna bring out the exacto knife. Let's check it out. I'm gonna lift it up so I don't accidentally cut anything. Fingers crossed is in good shape. This was sort of um, just a shot in the dark, right? I was actually initially worried about this. Oh, this looks like a great copy. Look at this. Want to see it? This is uh, yeah. Let me tell you what I sh what I ended up paying for this. <laughs> we ended up paying. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What did we pay for this? We ended up paying thirty six dollars U S for this. Okay, and it's from nineteen eighty seven. And where is it hey no 40 oh i didn't even open it up here okay check this out oh hold on let me bring on the view so you see look at this so metal planet comics number one i'm going to take it out so you don't get the glare here i'll show it to you like this sorry about pulling it away but it's beautiful i've been looking for this one it goes uh, on high grade it goes for a fair bit Okay, so $36 US on this is really cheap. It's a good deal, very good deal. As, as long as the condition is good. Put that on a reading list. <laughs> oh my God, we should, eh? We should, maybe we do. doesn't have a board okay. let me check out the back here's jungle comics in the back take it out I should have brought my bags and boards here to bag and board it right away I'm gonna show it to you guys Without the plastic. Must be done. Must be done. Gloves, please. Uh, it's a slice of, it is a huge slice of history. Let me see that. Little bit of stress marks here on the spine. Okay. So on the pictures it looked better but right now this I would give at least at least an 8 let me hold it up for you guys look at that cover this is 1987 look at that what a beautiful cover. What a beautiful cover. Comics. What a beautiful cover.
and there's the Dave Stevens signature, right? Awesome. Very happy to have this. And uh, not a bad copy. I have to look at this in a better light, but take a look. Pretty good copy. At least an 8.5. 8 Okay. The origin stat. What? <laughs> Hell to God. Dude, I wish I. There's some comics that I didn't pick up off the racks that, man, I kick myself for now. I kick myself for now. Right. I'm going to put that one over there. Beautiful. Very happy to have that. So, so far, we bought. I ended up buying four lots from the guy, right? Four auctions he had. Happy with the Over Street. Happy with Planet Comics number one. Let's see what else we got. Let me show you this. This was the most expensive. This one is this guy. Okay. They're magazine size. Okay. Larger. They're magazine size. This is. Where are we? I got so many tabs open. Let me crack it open. This one cost this cost a hundred and twenty dollars and fifty cents US. Okay. And it was a good price. If the condition uh and I'm basing it on the condition that the that I was guessing the comics would be in. Okay. I'm happy with the Dave Stevens one. I wish it was a little bit higher condition, but we're okay with this right now. Okay. Let me crack this. noise oh what's in these ones is there anything in these no these are just oh it feels like he's got something in this as well okay i gotta crack these guys open too 92 pounds uk or is that euros oh euros one of them in this <laughs> nice this is this is foom foom number these are the numbers we ended up getting foom number 11 number 17 number 15 number 18 so foom number 11 15 17 18 and two copies of number 19 okay so and some of these are pretty important. Um, Foom number 11. This is, let me bring it out. Let's see what kind of condition this is. Man, I guess I got tape galore on this. This is Jack Kirby issue, illustrated by Rich Buckle, Joe Sinnott, Don Mance, Bob Brzezinski, or whatever his name is. So it's basically, and that's a pretty, and this is Jack Kirby, by the way. Take a look. The reason it's saying Jack Kirby cover, because that's Jack Kirby right there. All right. And this is pretty good shape. Okay. That's a Jack Kirby cover. He's got his cigar. He's got his pen. He's got his costume. Right. 1970s. Yeah. This is pretty good shape. Very good shape fantastic look at this 
Look at us. Right? Awesome. Oh, snap. Look at this. This is a great shape. This is, I was hoping it was going to be in this, this condition, and it is. Very nice. Very nice. Splash page. Here's Kirby in the back. I should have brought uh, my magazine. Oh, and it doesn't even have the stamp for mailing. Sweet. Sweet. So this is number 11. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this here. Let's crack open the rest. One of these is the first appearance of Captain Marvel. Uh, it's supposed to be... Uh, what do you call it? A splash page of her, I believe. And by the way, gang, let me give you the link to my comic shop. Actually, that was a great deal for the great uh, for Elder God. Fantastic. It was a shot in the dark. Uh, like I talked to the guy and he seemed like a legit guy. Um, and he, he actually turned to me, he goes, I got too many comics. I sent 12 boxes to recycling. And he's like, I hope I didn't throw anything useful, or anything expensive away. I'm like, you did what? <laughs> I go, dude, uh, you know, I'm a comic book collector. Please feel free to send me pics and I'll tell you if they're worth anything or not. Now nah, he packaged these up really nice. Oh, this one's a little bit rougher. It's got, it's got dings on the side. But this is number seventeen, with uh, Stan Lee, right? Check this out, Stan Lee. It's still pretty good. It's got dings here. Oh man, the way he's got packaged these up is crazy. Here, let's bring it out. I'm gonna bring it out. I gotta show it to you guys. Careful, careful. Wow, never heard of this uh, site before. See, take a look. It's still pretty good. I would grade the number 11 at around seven and a half at least. This one I would give at around seven. Take a look at the dings on it. See that? See the dings on it? But the edges are pretty sharp. I'd have to look at this in a better light. Right? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look at this. Look at the kiss. <laughs> Awesome, look at that, look at that. Fantastic, right? And pretty good, pretty good. Let's check it out. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Stan the man and Dave the dude. Who's Dave the dude? Is that Dave Stevens? Who's the Dave, the dude, Dave, the dude. Check this out. Ooh. All right. So this is number 17. Right. And it's pretty good shape. Really, it's pretty good shape. All right. Very cool. Yeah, Kiss, yeah, late 70s, I think. This is number 17, so this would be, I believe it would be late 70s. I'm just going to put it back in this until I can put it somewhere better. Ooh, this is the one that has the Carol. This is number 15. Okay. And if you look at number here number 17 what was the description for number 17 17 is stanley issue number uh 15 this one wow look at that look at this hold on let me i'm gonna bring it out we're gonna try to find that page um uh, captain britain uh, da, 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 okay let me show it to you let me show it to you bring it out Ch 
just, just so we see the condition as well. Right? Get rid of the tape on here. Pretty good, and this is on newsprint. So number 17 was in better print. This one is on newsprint. Take a look. Someone has a sense of humor. 28 days later starts tonight. Right. And here's the back cover. Right. <laughs> Check it. Look at this. This is very, very, uh, very appropriate for November 4th, 2020, the day after the US elections, I vote, I vote, I vote for the duck, I vote for the duck. <laughs> awesome. And this is in really good shape, gang. This is in great shape. Where is that cover that we're looking for? Howard the duck, I vote for Howard the duck. This is a Howard the duck issue. Look at this. This is great shape. Donald, love out. No, Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. <laughs> A little bit more hardcore than Donald. Oh, yes. Snap, crackle, pop. Look at this. An early character sketch of Miss Marvel by Jesse John Romita, art director extraordinaire. This is the first appearance of Miss Marvel very very cool dude gang we're gonna look at it there you go that's the first early sketch they shared about the first appearance of miss marvel very cool very cool very cool okay i wanted to show you that i wanted to show you that gang fantastic very happy about this buy Okay, I need to put this. I'm going to do a little movement because I want to put this somewhere safe. <laughs> I want to put this somewhere safe. Let me put this on top of this. I'm going to put it over here so it's sitting flat. Okay. This guy did a fantastic job. He has more comic books that I was thinking of bidding on, but it was getting a little bit above my uh, price. Here is Foom number 18. Very cool. Very cool. These I'm going to bag and board these things as soon as we finish the stream. Right. And here is. Cool. I'm not going to bother bringing this one out. Okay. Here is Foom number 19. One copy of it anyway. Fantastic. Very cool. Look at this. Foom number, what was this? Number 19, right? Cool. And a second copy of Foom number 19. Right. Two copies of it. Very cool. One of them, check this out. This one has an X. This one has an X on the mailing thing right there, and this one doesn't, right? So if you do a fold-out cover, it's a fold-out cover, so we would do this, right? So this is the full cover, fold-out, right? Let me put it here so you see it. This is, the this is the back and this is the front, right? 
very cool fantastic buy uh, great great deal really it was a great deal <laughs> pretty good deal let me show you these other guys that we got let me put this here and the last stack right four adult comics it should be six adult comics two adult comics it should be six adult comics so two and four makes six let's crack this open and the covers uh there's one of them that might need a little bit of i didn't have any stickies here <laughs> one of them i might have to put a sticky on it we see This is one of them. We got another one to here. Actually, let me crack this one open as well. Might as well. All right. This one I gotta crack open as well. Fantastic. Forty-year-old hippie catalog. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out of the bag. You have to see it without the glare. Awesome. Awesome. That is in pretty good shape. It's not bad. I give it at least a 7.5. The whole the whole 40 year old hippie catalog. Hilarious, hilarious. Nice. I love these newsprint stuff. Look at this. Fantastic. Th these ones aren't very expensive. As far as I know anyway. Right. Cool. Great, great, great. It's like, you know, old school Mad Magazine. And it's got the thing in the back, like a story. Fun. Weir. The spaceship spits out a baby for the hippie. What the hell? <laughs> oh, he took the baby earlier on, I guess. And these ones are okay too. I'm gonna to show you these as well. Okay, this I need to put. I'm gonna put it here. Take a look. I wanna show you, put these in order. Um, four, three, and this should be number two. This should be number two, yeah, number two. Check this out. Here, I'll show you these ones first. Uh, women's comics presents disastrous relationships <laughs> independent sort of funny romance comics right cool and this is number four i believe 
what num number 14 this is number 14 pretty cool pretty cool get the glare out of there here's another one this is this one is a little bit more risque this is doll number four by God a guy Colwell okay I don't know these comics uh, basically I just bought them because I did a little research as I was uh, you know I wanted to distribute the shipping costs right more risque more risque doll number four right And then these next three are from the same set. There's only four issues of this. I don't have number one. This is uh, Cheech Wizard, <laughs> the complete Cheech Wizard. <laughs> a Cheecho comic will call a video of a Cheech Wizard comic. This is number two. Okay. Cool. All right. Rip off press. And 70s had some fantastic, uh, fantastic indie comics, right? Really huge birth of indies in the 70s and uh, continued on after that, right? Here's number three, right? And number four. The complete Cheech Wizard. Cool. Indie comics. Check this out. The artwork's beautiful, by the way. Look at that. Right? The artwork's beautiful. A little alien in the pyramid. Sorry about the glare gang. All right? Beautiful artwork. never heard of these before on charter days yeah i hadn't either i knew i I've seen the cover before but i never uh really looked at them before let's see the back cover of the first one great covers great covers great covers indeed let's see if we can crack this open see the back cover of number two i like it that they you know they all have really intricate back covers gives me midnight gospel vibes uh, but Cheech Wizard came way earlier so maybe it's inspired Duncan Trussell oh, I don't know let's see this one ah very cool beautiful art beautiful art and the condition is pretty good mid high grade right to high grade beautiful right back cover and front cover okay very happy good buy really again uh this was a great buy cheech is interviewed by the press cheech gets arrested <laughs> here's a table of contents <laughs> right who is this cheech uh, right on look at all the characters look at all the characters right you could have a fantastic time with this really maybe we do maybe we do oh very cool look at that right pretty cool Cheech. <laughs> Cheech wax off a log. I don't think we're gonna look at that one. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> awesome gang. So that's our comic book haul. Okay. Uh fantastic. I thought it it would lighten the mood of everyone today. Um 
it's good to do it's good to do the typeface looks tiny under uh those characters can you read it uh, let's check it out you mean under the some of the things the writing what does it say there's no reason for you to get sarcastic smeech god frowns on that kind of popping around quiet someone's coming like oh the character descriptions yeah the character descriptions the typeface was really small which one should we read which one do you guys want to read i'll read you one of them which one do you want to read there's more on another page on the next page but let's pick this page which one do you want to read <laughs> take a look which one would you like to read second page top left second page this one the one with the hat the one with the hat this guy or is your left this one this one yep the hat okay let's read this guy's character this guy looks like uh, one of those characters from there's a 70s uh, animated movie that came out wizards uh, I think it's called Wizards. It's a great animation. It's a full-length feature movie animation. And this looks like the wizard, right? Arch Warlock. Everyone in their right mind pays respect to the warlock. Everyone except Cheech Wizard, that is. It is for this reason, mainly, that they are the bitterest of enemies. Warlock devotes a great deal of his time of time to trying to destroy Cheech and you'd think he'd succeed with all the advanced scientific equipment in his laboratory plus his an uh, ominous power oh sounds serious sounds serious sounds very serious there's Cheech's apprentice here Oh, let's read the description for Cheech, by the way. Here's Cheech. Let's read the description for Cheech. And here's the world they live in, I guess. Right? So here's the their world. Right? It's got a map. So let's read the description for Cheech. Okay? This is Cheech. Cheech Wizard. Let's check it out. Cheech Wizard. Cheech is very insulting. He shows little respect towards others. The wizard wears the big hat to protect his secret identity when he takes it off he will not be shown uh, he will not be shown except in silhouette a hand of a hand or shadow however his apprentice peter knows what the what he looks like from the beginning from the beginning story and this is actually pretty small for me to read as well so beginning story Cheech can do magic, but would rather do amusing tricks. He does work in his laboratory, inventing and experiment, experimenting, and tries to uh, transcribe old, ma old manus manuscripts or books. He considers himself an authority on everything. Cheech writes, <laughs> writes books on pre-zap history science fiction and magic tricks sounds like a cool guy sounds like a cool guy i'd be friends with cheech maybe <laughs> would you be friends with cheech <laughs> awesome let's put this guy here <laughs> mark hamill did the voiceovers mark hamill did the voiceovers on that movie the animated one that's neat like a token inspired map like a token inspired map very cool now i need to get my hands on number one there's only four issues of the thing printed of complete cheech wizard let me find it for you as far as i know yeah there's only four issues and we got we got two three and f two three and four and here's the here's the what do you call it my comic shop my comic shop link where it has all four listed cheech wizard is the is by the same artist as the movie wizards von Bo bode dude brian randolph fantastic so 
I okay, gang. I know what my uh, recommendation for the next set of movies we're gonna watch is. Wizard. Okay, we have to watch it. It's a fantastic movie, fantastic '70s animated full feature movie, and contains a lot of cool characters. It's fun, really awesome, brother. Thank you very much, Brian, uh, for for sharing that info. Fantastic, super happy about this. Now I gotta put uh, Cheech uh, complete uh, com the com the complete the complete Cheech Wizard number one on my list. To be able to get so we can uh complete this uh the set fantastic buy oh yeah and this one these guys man great buy great buy great buy twenty dollars and fifty cents it costs twenty dollars and fifty cents good buy you might be able to get it cheaper i don't know uh but I looked this up when I was doing the beds. I was like, hey, this sounds super cool. I want this, right? This sounds super cool. I want this. And I didn't know he was the same artist as uh, as the person who did the movie. I, I didn't know. And it's, it's a great deal, by the way, uh, $20.50. Okay. Gang, I hope you enjoyed this stream. I was seriously looking forward to it. I was a little nervous because the box was popping. I didn't know how he had packed it. And he said he didn't know about comic books. So I was like all nervous. Great stream. Can't, can't wait for tomorrow's stream. Yeah, Uncharted. We're going to do one. I'm going to try to do one tomorrow, either tomorrow or Friday. I'll, I'll got to sort my schedule out. Okay. So in the next couple of days, most likely, we're going to do another comic book haul video. And it's going to be shorter than this one. It's It's small. There's only uh, how many books in that one? Let me look it up. How many books in that one? How many books in that one? Uh, where am I? Doop, 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 doop. That one only has uh, <laughs> really just only four titles. Okay. It only has four titles, uh, but we do. Cheech Wizard is cool, but can't hold a candle to Cheech Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> gang i hope you guys like dr p how are you doing uh and i'll let you know it's going to be unscheduled again if i can schedule it in and i will i'll announce it but most likely unscheduled and most likely i'm going to release i'm going to release the next two the math videos we did uh, uh live streams we did in the next uh, couple of days one probably today and next one probably tomorrow maybe our next day okay and gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for being here thank you for sharing the historical significance of these comics brian uh very important uh, makes me crazy way more happier than <laughs> than initially i was if i can't be happier anyway uh but thank you for being here gang gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike suicidal artist did he commit suicide no elder god tell me no i hope not don't put a damper in things <laughs> fantastic and for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support we move one step closer one step forward uh, every stream that we are doing and we're able to get our hands on some comics that our database really uh that uh, we're going to look at the prices and start charting stuff out and look at the uh, mathematics of investing in comic books extremely important to break people's psyche that people really have an appreciation that you don't have to just invest in wall street you don't have to take your hard-earned money and give it to those in certain systems to manage your money for you to be able to have certain types of returns okay you don't have to do it you can manage your own money you can decide what you want to invest in and take everything into consideration right and we will get into it at some point as soon as i do hardware upgrade and software upgrade and set myself up when we can start shooting recording the videos and bah, 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 putting the stuff out so thank you very much for the support on patreon gang appreciate it very much 
We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. I want to invest in new, in new PM. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god funny uh gang if you want to participate in the chat as is happening twitch is where you want to be at and again mods thank you for taking care of business gang thank you for the support on twitch i hope you're liking the content i do announce live streams either just before we go live or 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gap and twitter and we do share additional information on those sites as well so you can follow the work there and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a fair bit of information and you can find the link to our discord page in the description of this video or go to our twitch channel and in the chat just put exclamation mark social and all the links will be there no twitch notification on your side ah oh, unfortunate unfortunate twitch hiccups twitch sensor who what is this now oh, there won't be censoring comic books twitch hiccups for live streams when we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bit shoot sooner rather than later i might uh, do math comic book math comic book okay just to lighten the mode of mood of everybody right now because people are a little freaked out i think it's important to keep your eyes on the prize and realize this is a long game there's some amazing things that took place yesterday in the united states of america right five new states legalized the recreational use of cannabis one state oregon legalized psilocybin mushrooms we are coming out of the dark ages okay be prepared disruptive innovation flow of free flow of information is rolling in central power is trying to block it and the technocrats and the monopolies are trying to block it we're going to try our best to make sure it flows freely okay gang i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys probably next couple of days with another comic book comic book hall v4 what does it say elder god victory gang bye everyone and v for victory is a great movie by the way a soccer movie it was fun bye everyone